Hello, my Capricorn family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is going to be your weekly reading for the week of October 26th through November 1st. And happy Halloween. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you if you already subscribed to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now, just a brief reminder that these are general readings and not everything will resonate with you. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating. Okay, Capricorn. So starting off with your first card being the Page of Potions. Your second card, the Four of Needles. And your third card, the Major Arcana card, the Chariot. Okay, Capricorn. And we will be looking at your overall energy card and your Crystal of the Week in just a little bit. Okay, Capricorn, so getting back to your first card here, you're starting off your reading with the Page of Potions, which is better known as the Page of Cups. And this is the birth of something new in regards to your feelings and emotions. So this could be new love coming in. This could be new friendships, a new relationship, and also a new love in regards to something creative that you might be working on. Now the Page of Cups can be indicating that some hidden talents of yours, Capricorn, might be coming out as you're working on a new project. The Cups energy can be a very creative energy. And for some of you, I'm picking up, you might be feeling a bit aggravated this week, Capricorn, because you might not be able to have enough time to work on whatever this creative energy is in regards to. And for some Capricorns with this Page of Cups energy around you, it could be you or someone around you that's going to be extra sensitive this week. So there's going to be a lot of feelings and emotions kicking off your week during this week. Now taking a look at your next card, the Four of Needles, which is also known as the Four of Swords. And this card is indicating to get some rest, to recharge your batteries. You've been overdoing it, Capricorn. And for some Capricorns, with this being the needle or sword energy, you've been focusing too much on overthinking a particular situation. So this card is showing up, telling you it's time to take a break. And possibly for some of you, you're going to be starting to feel ill. You're trying to work through a problem and you're just having a hard time. And once again, your mental energies are in overdrive. And stress can take a toll on your body, your mind, and spirit, Capricorn. So taking some time out to recuperate can give you back your strength and recharge your batteries. Now for some Capricorns, when the Four of Swords turns up, this is indicating and advising you to seek some advice or counsel. Go to an expert for whatever it is that's been troubling you. And one message from my guides is, if you happen to have a new idea, Cap, keep it to yourself at this time. Let your new idea just grow in your mind before sharing it with the world. Now the Four of Needles is actually Libra's card, trying to keep everything in balance. It's the general nature of this air sign. And with this card also tied to the planet Jupiter, this involves your luck, your happiness, your health, your fortune or status. And the number four energy of this card signifies stability, being rational, the practical parts of life, and being self-disciplined Capricorn so this card and energy is indicating to maintain the stability in your life. And something that you might be working on or doing at this time, Capricorn, is pushing you to the limits. Where you're going to be stressed out, 
become ill, and you need to rest and recharge your batteries this week to get your balance back. Now moving on to your next card, Capricorn, you have the Major Arcana card, the Chariot. Now this is one card, Cap, that turns up for your readings more than any other card. There is always someone or something trying to take you off your path or course. My guides are indicating two things going on with the chariot card. The first thing is that there's an energy around you trying to steer you off course. And there might be an unexpected communication or interference in some way. Something that's going to really broadside you, Cap. It's going to throw you into a tailspin, so be aware of that. And second, the angels and guides have been indicating in the past few weeks to pay attention to your health. Zinsight, they've been suggesting in the past readings, if I remember. So this is in regards to your body, mind, and spirit, Capricorn. But the message I'm getting from my guides for some Capricorns with the chariot card is that you ignore the signs in regards to your health, whether it be mental health or physical health. And this is where you're going to be pulled off course because you're going to get stressed out and ill. And this in itself will interrupt your progress with the chariot card. So in other words, Capricorn, there is someone or something around you that's going to throw you off course this week. And then for other Capricorns, you're going to be doing it to yourself by not paying attention to how hard you're pushing yourself. You can maintain staying on course with the chariot card by not going to extremes. And that's the biggest message with this card showing up. Once again, in your readings for this week. Now the number seven energy of this card represents forces that must be dealt with that are beyond your control. So dealing with someone or something that might be tugging you off course, Capricorn, you have to deal with these forces. But just dig deep down into your inner resources, Cap, and overcome these challenges. Be aware of this energy around you so you can be prepared for it. And the number seven here of this card signifies your spiritual life, Capricorn. Looking within, looking at the larger meaning of the situation. And seven is the number of your crown chakra, and that is your connection with the divine. Do you have a good co-partnership with spirit, especially on a daily basis, that will help you to stay on course? Now first, let's take a look at your numerology here for your reading. Your three cards here add up to number 12, which reduces to number three. And this brings us back to our first card because number three is all about new beginnings. And the page of potions is talking about something new coming in. And I feel from more, most Capricorns, it's something more in the creative category. But with this new beginning, you're diving right in, and that's why the Four of Needles is showing up. You're overdoing it, Capricorn, and you need to be concerned about your health and well-being. As the Four of Needles suggests, rest and recuperation. And the Major Arcana card, the Chariot, shows up once again, as it seems to be in your readings lately, indicating that someone or something is going to pull you off your path. And if it's not that, it's you yourself because you're not paying attention to your health and well-being. So either way, Capricorn, you're going to have a difficult time with the chariot energy. So remember, self-care, Capricorn. Now let's take a look at what your overall energy card is. And you have the Five of Potions, better known as the Five of Cups. Now take a good look at this card, Capricorn, because this is your overall energy for the entire week. Look at the expression. Let's see if I can get my focus to come in. Come on. 
not cooperating. But look at his expression. Now, the message with Jack and the card in this deck is indicating disappointments and setbacks. Feeling a bit depressed, Capricorn. Something hasn't gone according to plan, and rather than feeling upset and unhappy about what can't be changed at this time, accept the circumstances and look for a way forward, Capricorn. That is that number seven energy of dealing with forces beyond your control. Because there are new opportunities waiting for you, your reading already shows you that. This is the card of wallowing in regret. And as you can see on the card here, with all the Five of Cups card, there's the three overturn jars or cups. But Jack's too busy to see that over here, there's two jars or cups still upright. And that's your opportunities right there, Capricorn. And you're not seeing it. Because there's something this week, and maybe it's your chariot card, something pulled you off course, and you're not very happy about that. So that's why your Four of Needles card is showing up, and that's why the chariot card is once again showing up in your reading. There's something this week that's going to be a disappointment for you. There's going to be a possible loss, Something maybe that you held very close to you. Could have been something you were working on. And something happens. And I see the connection has to do with your chariot card. That energy that's surrounding that card that's trying to pull you off course, Capricorn. But I still see something new coming in. So it could be a new friendship, a new relationship, something new like I said, in the creative arts area or something like that. You're just having a brand new idea about in regards to something and trying to put that new idea into motion. It's the best way I can put it. There's, for some of you, there is a new idea that you've been tossing around. You're trying to get that into motion and that is your Two cups in your overall energy card here. So pay attention to that. Concentrate on that rather than what went wrong, Capricorn. Learn from any lessons that occur this week. But the biggest message that my guides are indicating to get through to you is you need to take care of yourself, Capricorn. There is an extreme indication for self-care for you, Capricorn. Now, let's take a look and see which crystal your angels and guides have selected for you this week. And if it's in sight, I'm going to flip. Okay. All right. <laughs> Labradorite. But with good reason. Your angels and guides have chosen this particular crystal because it's indicating for you to get more in touch with your intuition and your psychic ability. Now, everyone has their own unique psychic gifts, and that goes for you, Capricorn, as well. Now, for some Capricorns, you could possibly receive your information through premonitions or dreams, or you might feel something physically. Could be an inner knowing. You could possibly receive psychic information through clairvoyance, which is seeing something with your third eye or your inner eye. And the Labradorite crystal is associated, you can get it, with your third eye chakra. And it would be wise, Capricorn, to pay attention to that chakra. It will warn you when you're overdoing it. It will warn you ahead of time as to what might be throwing you off course with the chariot card. So with your angels and guides suggesting this crystal, this is indicating that your spirit guides have been trying to get your attention, Capricorn. And they want to work more closely with you 
So notice any signs you receive or feelings that you have. This is a week, this week, Halloween week, the veil is so thin. So connection with the spirit world is at its best. Now the other message my guides are indicating is that some of you might be drawn to enhance your spiritual knowledge a little bit more, either doing something online, a spiritual seminar or class, or possibly investing in a few particular metaphysical books. So Capricorn, this should be one of your top five crystals that you own. And I actually have mine right here. And I don't have any light. I don't think it'll pick up. You might see, oh, you might see it there. That's where when that gold shimmer comes in. There's the power of that crystal. So this should be one of your top five crystals that you own because Labradorite taps into your intuition and psychic ability. And for this week, you need to have this crystal so that you can see what the page of potions is bringing to you and to see ahead of time when you need to rest and relax and call it a day and especially to see who or what is trying to pull you off course yet again capricorn with the chariot card could be someone else or could be you overdoing it and your overall energy the five of potions is one of disappointment in something that is taking place this week. So to avoid concentrating on those three overturned bottles on this card, and with the help of the Labradorite crystal to enhance your psychic ability, you'll be able to see things ahead of time. And you will see these two remaining upright bottles, what they're all about. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help support my channel if you haven't already. Please join me for my daily readings or check out my channel for other tarot card readings available. Love and abundance to my Capricorn family.